Today we're diving into a topic you probably use every day, but may never have given much thought to, your car keys. They're small, convenient, and essential to your vehicle. But have you ever wondered when they became a part of driving? The history of car keys is actually a fascinating story of innovation, security, and the evolution of automobiles themselves. So let's rewind time and explore. When did we start using car keys? How they've changed over the years? And what the future of car security might look like? Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. In the early 20th century, the first cars were marvels of engineering, but they were far from the vehicles we're familiar with today. These early cars didn't need keys at all. Instead, starting a car required a lot of physical effort, and it was almost like a mini workout. Drivers would use a hand crank to manually start the engine, and there was no ignition switch. You just turned the crank, and if you were lucky, the engine would roar to life. Although these early cars didn't have keys, that doesn't mean they weren't protected. Cars were quite rare and expensive, so most people didn't feel the need for high-level security, and theft wasn't a common issue. As car ownership began to grow, though, so did the need for basic security features. Early cars had rudimentary locking mechanisms, but these were more for doors than for the ignition system. By the 1910s and 1920s, as cars started becoming more popular, manufacturers realized there had to be a better, safer way to start and secure vehicles. In response, some companies began experimenting with ignition locks that could only be activated by a specific key. This early form of keyed ignition wasn't as sophisticated as what we have today, but it marked the beginning of car keys as we know them. Cadillac is often credited with pioneering the first electric self-starter and ignition key in 1912. With this innovation, drivers no longer had to rely on the hand crank, which was a big deal for convenience and safety. The electric ignition system required a key to start, making cars both easier to operate and harder to steal. This change was huge for the industry and marked a turning point in automotive technology. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, the ignition key evolved and became more of a standard feature in cars. As more people began buying cars, the importance of security and convenience grew. This period also marked the shift to using a single key that could both start the car and unlock its doors, simplifying things for drivers and improving the overall user experience. By the 1950s, nearly every major car manufacturer was including an ignition key as standard. The ignition system was designed so that turning the key would engage the battery and start the engine, which was much safer and more reliable than hand cranking. This era cemented the ignition key as a staple of car design. And it was around this time that car keys began looking more like what we use today. Around this time, some luxury car manufacturers even began to experiment with the idea of chip keys, which contained a small transponder chip. The car would only start if the key's chip matched the car's computer system, adding another layer of security. These chip keys would eventually become standard in the 1990s and remain common today in various forms. The 1990s was a game-changer for car keys with the introduction of remote keyless entry RKE, systems, which allowed drivers to unlock their cars from a distance using a small remote. This was an exciting development in automotive security, giving drivers a sense of convenience and control. You'd press a button and the doors would unlock, or even open the trunk for you. Suddenly, the traditional metal key was sharing the spotlight with electronics. Around the same time, those chip keys or transponder keys we mentioned earlier became widely used. These keys were more sophisticated than ever, 
they required a matching digital code between the key and the car's ignition system to start the engine. If someone tried to use a fake key or hotwire the car, the engine wouldn't start without the correct code, making it much harder for thieves to steal cars. In the 2000s, automotive technology took another leap forward with the key fob and push-to-start systems. Instead of inserting a key into the ignition, drivers could now keep a small fob in their pocket or bag. The car's sensors would detect the fob, and with a simple push of a button, the engine would start. Key fobs quickly became popular, especially in luxury vehicles, as they offered an extra layer of convenience and security. So, what's next for car keys? Well, as technology continues to evolve, car manufacturers are exploring alternatives to physical keys altogether. Many newer cars already allow drivers to unlock and start their vehicles using smartphone apps. For instance, Tesla owners can unlock and drive their cars using their phones as a digital key, completely eliminating the need for a traditional key or fob. Some automakers are even experimenting with biometric technology such as fingerprint and facial recognition, which would make car keys obsolete. Car keys have come a long way from the early days of hand-cranked ignitions. What started as a simple mechanical necessity evolved into an essential security feature. And now, it's becoming a convenience-driven tech accessory. Each stage in the evolution of car keys reflects the changing landscape of automotive technology, from basic security needs to modern digital convenience. It's incredible to think that something as small as a car key could have such a rich history, mirroring the growth of the auto industry itself. And as we look forward, car keys will continue to change and adapt, just like the cars they're designed to protect. And that's the story of how car keys evolved from hand cranks to high-tech digital solutions. From the first ignition locks in the early 1900s to today's keyless and biometric systems, car keys have come a long way. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your ideas, and who knows, your suggestion might just be the topic of our next episode. We'll be sure to give you a shout out for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.